Hello everybody, this is another requested video, this time on Donald Trump in November, his mindset in November, after the midterm elections. Show us something about Donald Trump, his state of mind, what he's planning, what he's thinking. Four of Swords. Ooh, Ten of Swords. Six of Cups. F five of Cups. Queen of Swords. Doesn't look that great for him. This Four of Swords is in action. Taking time to plan things. He has to come up with some new strategy. Ten of Swords, termination, betrayal, maybe some people will betray him. Um, six of Cups. Oh, this is a card of nostalgia. Sometimes I see it as not being grounded, having maybe like unrealistic expectations, not having a grasp on reality. Five of Cups, emotional loss, and the Queen of Swords, probably the pissed off women who are going to turn up and vote. So it doesn't look that great for Donald Trump. He has to think of some sort of strategy to get himself out of trouble. Let's do one more. And let's ask about the investigation. Two of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, the Hermit, I could see this maybe as the investigation, like having the information, keeping it secret and searching, still searching for the truth. Ooh, the Tower, Tension, he's gonna try his best to fight against it. This Knight of Swords, I could see him lashing out, angry, tension fighting, so it's not good. Maybe with this tower energy, this could, could be him fearing this, fearing that he can lose everything. And he's especially worried about finances, money, Two of Pentacles. So I do see him being aggressive. Not very nice cards for oh, Trump in November. Um... Let's do two spreads now. One for what he's expecting in this moment for November. And the other one for what he will actually get in November. On the left side it will be what he expects and on the right what it will happen overall. Okay, so this is what he expects. Mm. 
And this is what actually is most likely to happen. Okay, so he has high hopes, <laughs> the star card. This is the spread for what he expects. Queen of Wands, there's some woman involved in this somehow. The Hierophant, this could be the Supreme Court. Maybe he has high hopes because he appointed his guys in the Supreme Court. There's a woman, I'm not sure about this queen of who she is. Uh, he's thinking of a choice, maybe about a woman. This eight of pentacles working diligently in making money, enriching himself, profiting. He he right now he knows that he will have to make a decision about a woman. He's quite hopeful because he got his guy on the Supreme Court. And the Hierophant. Let's see the reality, what's what's most likely to happen. Uh, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, King of Pentacles, Ooh, Five of Cups, Knight of Swords. I can see this as his relationship with Russia. Um, I think there's some sort of disappointment with someone who was supposed to support him. With this Five of Cups. He's not getting his way. He's disappointed and with the Knight of Swords lashing out. With the Two of Pentacles. Might be something connected with money in Russia. Because I see the Knight of Cups sometimes as Putin. And... Two of Pentacles here, I can see that it's two, like two people, partnerships, trying to maintain some sort of a balance in exchange to maintain a balance. Um... And with this Five of Cups, like disappointment. So from this second spread, I, I see a disappointment for sure. It might be about money and a connection with Putin, but I'm not really sure what else to make of it. Okay. So things are not going to work out exactly in his favor in November. He might feel betrayed by someone. We had in that first spread the Ten of Swords. Give, give us some more clues about the person who's going to disappoint Donald Trump in November. <laughs> oh, okay. It's something to someone connected to, to Russia or s someone in Russia or yeah Trump and someone Russia related. In defensive mode, the world card. This person that he's having a fallout with is someone I think connected to, with Russia, Putin and his oligarchs. Something's ending, the world cycle is ending. There's some sort of fallout or something like this. Yeah, so things are gonna get tough starting November for Trump. Let's do one from this person's perspective this guy or whoever it is connected to Russia because in the previous spread I made it just generally no one's perspective in particular 
but now I want to see kind of what's the dynamic from this guy's perspective or whoever it is. What's going on? What the why the fallout with Trump? What's happening? They had a partnership, they had an agreement. It's two of Cups. Ooh, something about Mueller and the Republicans. Disappointment. Two of Swords leaving. So I think someone is, this dude is gonna abandon whatever agreement they had. Because he's disappointed, maybe that he didn't, they didn't get something. It, and I'm not sure exactly how Mueller and the Republicans are playing into this, but here they are. Um, this person didn't get what they wanted, what they expected, so they're gonna leave, abandon whatever agreement they had, because the Three of Swords. Um, and somehow Mueller and the Republicans here were, it could also be money the pentacles so yeah I don't know there's a ooh, the tower so things are gonna start to get <laughs> really difficult for Trump starting November but we'll see we'll have to see what happens then so thank you guys for watching thank you for your comments for your support for your donations and for everything see you in my next video bye bye